I hope you've had a lovely day, week. I think, Caroline, it was your birthday, I think. Happy birthday. Okay, hang on, let me switch that one off and go back to my Zoom. All right, okay, so hi everybody. Uh, lovely to see you, shoulders. Okay, so I've had a request to do shoulders, shoulders for a change. Um, we always do a bit of shoulder work, don't we? Um, but it's so it's now May, are we mid-May and it's still sort of, well, we have had some sunshine, but today it is really, really cold and gloomy where I am. And uh, it's hard not to want, want to just curl up in a little ball and, and if I had a fire, sit by the fire. So um, anyway, we are going to stretch it out. We're going to focus on shoulders. Oh, I love shoulders. You can't go wrong with shoulders. And um, let's get going. And first, actually, you know, I want to show you this thing that if you've got sore eyes, and it's just reminded me because it is particularly cold today. Um, if you've got glasses, take your glasses off. And then rub. This is a really good one for sore eyes and, and giving your eyes a bit of a rest uh, if they've been on Zoom too much this week. So really rub your hands together like really, really vigorously. Keep going. It warms you up as well. Keep going. Really do it. You can wiggle your hips as well if you like and then place them over your eyes like that. Deep breath in and let that out. Deep breath in and out. One more time, deep breath in and out. Okay, hands together again, rub, really, really rub. Oh, actually this is probably making a bit of too much tension in the shoulders, but we're gonna relax that soon. Okay, and again, to your eyes, inhale, and then exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Okay, brilliant. And then just bring your, your um, whichever hand you like, one hand in front of you. Actually, I'm gonna have to put my glasses back on for this. Okay, and then just with your eyesight, go look at your hand, which is halfway between you and the computer and then look back at your computer. So it's just be changing the kind of like distance of the eye, back at your hand and then out somewhere in the distance, so long distance. Okay, so back at your hand to your computer, which should be like mid length and then out side. So hand, computer, you can either go back to hand if your view's the other way on that way or hand and then something that's further behind you in the room you want to just change the sort of focal distance of your eyes so just to give your eyes a little bit of a, a rest because we're at this this position most of the time and so just to give them a bit of variety just change the focus of those eyeballs all right lovely okay then everybody let's do some nice shoulder rolls oh when I do that at the beginning of this I can just hear all kinds of noises and cricks and all sorts of noises so really just exaggerated shoulder rolls you can get your elbows up elbows up so your elbows are going around in circles really make that exaggerated so you're hunching over and then you're opening up, hunching over, opening up, hunching over, and then opening up. And then whilst we're at it, just clasp your hands. I'm just gonna do a bit of like a candle, a candle wiggle, and then just sort of like, uh, what is this movement? 
swirling movement, corkscrew movement, one way, oh, and then the other way, waking that sort of spine up, just getting a bit of movement in. If you've been sitting all day, like I have, then you just finally need to get some movement. All right, and then shoulder, uh, hold on to your shoulders here with your arms, and again, open up. So sort of like, I kind of like think it's like wings, opening it up to the back, really stretching them out, getting that mobility in there the other way. And then, okay, making sure that you've got your knees apart and your feet pointing in the direction of your knees just to give you a bit of balance because I don't want any of you toppling off your, your chairs. <laughs> so sit with your feet as wide as you need to. We're just going to stretch over to the side, stretching out that side waist. And then up gently. And then over to the other side. That's it. And up, over again, see if you can go stretch it out a little bit further. See if your elbows can be perpendicular, one on top of each other in a straight line. Up and over. Okay, and back. And I was leaving them there. By the way, if they get tired, just like, just shake it out a bit. But back up back up here fingertips on shoulders and we're just gonna like um pulse it to the side so just really loosening up getting some getting ready for some twists just pulse it gently bring a bit of movement in and then when you get round to the back just hold it big breath in exhale it's a bit harder to breathe in deeply when you're twisted like this one more. Again, back. If they're getting tired, just shake them out and then back again. And then pulse to the other side. Just notice, is this side different to the other side? Is this side tighter than the other side? Is it because you write with one particular hand or a left-handed, right-handed? sort of getting to tune with what your body is telling you okay and then hold it hold it in that stretch yeah can you go further around on one side than the other deep breath in breathe out in and out okay all right and then shake it all out so a couple of little neck stretches and then we really will focus on shoulders all right, so um, chin to chest, exhale, down we go. And then roll it up one side, trying to keep that chin on the chest and all the way up like you're doing a big U. So down we go, stretch out the back of that neck, roll it up the other side. So it's at least parallel, if not pointing up into the, into a little bit higher than Parallel, down we go, stretch it out, and then up, down we go, to the center, and up to the side. All right, return to neutral, and then just a few little head tilts, just gently from side to side, not terribly deeply, because we're just gonna, we'll do the, do the deep one in a minute, but just, Rock it from side to side, very gently. Be careful with your neck. Over we go. One, two, three, and four. All right, we're gonna deepen that one. I'm a little teapot, take your hand out to the side, press through that, that heel of the palm, sit up nice and straight. Even just doing that, actually, I feel a nice stretch down there. I don't know whether you guys do, but sit up nice and tall and then tilt your neck away from the arm, tilt your head away from the arm, feeling that stretch all the way down the back of the neck, the top of the traps. I feel it all the way, even through my wrists, really. These little forearms get very tight with all that typing, hard work, writing. 
Okay. And one more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. All right, bring it up gently. Shake that hand out. Okay, other hand out. Nice and straight. Push through the palm. Sit up nice and straight. And then tilt that head. Ah, just hanging out here. I think is like a bit of a neck massage. You're doing a neck massage for yourself. Really, really stretch it out. Release that tension. Make any micro movements that you feel adds to your experience. Okay, one more. And up we come. Gently, gently, and then 45 degree angle in between your sternum and your shoulder. The hands come up, rest lightly on the crown of your head, and on the exhale, tilt forward on that diagonal. See if that hits a part of the neck, the back of the neck that the other two stretches haven't. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and come up gently. And then the other way over, 45 degree angle, fingers at the back of your head. You don't need to clamp down on your head. Um, inhale, up, find height, and exhale, tilt forward. If you really feel like it, you can apply light pressure on the crown of your head to help your head um, tilt down, but try not to do anything that might hurt your, hurt your neck. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And up we come. Okay, we're gonna do the classic shoulder sequence. So let's do seated cat-cow. So hands up behind your head as if we're on the beach. We've got our, we're out in our sun lounges. We've got our cocktails at our toes. Mine's a caipirinha. Okay, so make sure that your head is back into your hands rather than being pushed forward by your hands. So sit up nice and straight. And just before we do anything here, See if your elbows can go even further backwards. It's actually a subtle backbend, this. But even without, you can sort of push against your head as long as your head's not going forward. And just try and get almost like you want to get your elbows to touch the back of the room. Okay, so here we are. So inhale, find some height and then stretch it up and have a look at the ceiling. Exhale, fold all the way forward, curl over, see if your elbows can touch each other, really, really rounding out that back. Inhale, curl back up, unfurl all the way up and out, elbows as wide as they can possibly be. And then exhale, curl it down. Curl, 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 curl with the elbows to touch. Inhale. Up we go, height, 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 and then back, outward, 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 oh, and then exhale, over we go. And when you get down this time, see if your elbows can touch and then just rock back and forward, back and forward, ironing out any little wrinkles that you may have in your upper back. See where the tent where the tension is and just pay that bit a bit of extra rocking, if that makes sense. All right, and then roll up gently. If the, um, if the blood has drained from your hands, just give them a bit of a shake, give your arms a bit of a shake. All right, but then we're gonna go back here. And again, putting your feet wide, your knees wide, we're gonna go over again, do that side stretch. So inhale, find some height, and then exhale, over we go. Now this time, what we're gonna do is turn when we're down here, and then almost like um, slide across, and then till we get to the other side, 
and then up. Okay, so one more time. You go over, you turn, so you're twisting and facing down, and then facing down all the way over to the other side, twist up, and then come up. Okay, just reset here, make sure you're sitting nice and straight, knees are wide apart to give you some balance. One more time. So over we go. Twist, look down, and then really scoot along to the other side, up, and here we go. So we're going to do that on the other side. So up we go. Like Remember those elbows. You want those elbows going back to open up that chest. Okay, so over we go. Down, turn, along, turn and up, okay, so down, twist, down, travel along, turn up, and up to the top, and one more time, okay, so stretch out that side, twist, to look down, all the way across, twist to turn up, and up we come. Ah, all right, I'm warming up actually, just as amazing, um, just sitting here doing this. All right, so let's do our favorite, eagle arms, to really get those knots from our upper back. So arms out. Now listen, if you find it hard to do the wrapping of the arms thing, if you just aim for that and you can feel a stretch, it's the same movement. It's just the knotted one just does it deeper. If you've got, if your anatomy lets you do it, then do that as well. So arms out to the side, cross over at the elbow, both arms, forearms come up, and then you grab the wrists. And then from here, if you're already feeling, now by the way, just here, just make sure your shoulders are down and your neck is nice and long. So if you're already feeling a stretch, just hang out here. If you want more, remember you just raise your elbows and push your hands away from your face. I, I mean, when I, ha when I do yoga and the teacher says, but if you want more, and I'm like, yes, I always want more. I always want more. But some people, sometimes your body can do it. And sometimes your body can't do it. And your bodies are built very differently. So do what feels right for you. Okay, so inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. That one is just so brilliant for shoulders, I think. All right, and the other way, so whichever way you were, and then cross over the other way, elbows um, crossed and hands up in a straight line, and again, if you want more, raise those elbows and push those hands away from your face. Do you notice anything different on this side to the other side? What does that tell you about where you are storing tension in your body? It used to be that when we were all doing the commuting that if we had heavy shoulder bags or heavy handbags or whatever, that tension would build up on one shoulder rather than the other. Um, when I think back and think, God, all that stuff that I used to carry around with me, um, I don't think I'll be going back to that. I think oh, we're traveling light when we get back to whatever the new normal may be. All right, couple more breaths here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale and release. Okay, so if you have a chair with a nice back, then we're gonna do the hands behind clasped. Um, my, I've got this special chair now that is um, supposed to be good for your back if you're sitting all day. So I'm just gonna do it standing up. So you're just gonna see my, 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 my torso. Okay, um, so grab your hands behind your back. And again, if you can't quite reach, just grab on. Look, I've got two scrunchies here. You could grab on like that anything. You're just going to roll the shoulders back and down, 
clasp your hands together, pull them down towards your bottom. So the your chest goes up into the air, opening up that thing, opening up that chest. And if you're on a chair and it feels good to you, you can always hook it over the back and then lean forward. It's a lovely, lovely stretch down the front of the shoulders and the, the delt and the top of the biceps. And ah, oh, it's just lovely. I love this one. And of course, if you want to stand up with me, you can hips, hips, uh, uh, feet hip distance apart. You can bend gently from the, the hips with your knees bent and then go overhead with it. So that's an even more intense version, just letting yourself hang down, elongating that spine, letting it stretch out. So whatever version you're in, enjoy it. Open up that chest, stretch it out. Okay, so out we come from that, there you go, and sit yourself down again. I hope your shoulders are starting to feel a bit looser. All right, so we're gonna do a, little, um, a few little chair twists, which are incredibly um, rejuvenating because when you twist your body, uh, it not only sort of stretches um, the muscles around the spine, those deep muscles around the spine that keep us upright, but also you've got all your little organs in there, like your tummy, well, all your organs. And just twisting just gives them a bit of a gentle massage because you imagine you're twisting like that. It's like wringing out a flannel. Um, it just gives everything a bit of a gentle massage, which helps move stuff along and allow sort of freshly oxygenated blood in. All right, so sitting up straight, nice and straight and you can um, have your your knees sort of hip distance um, take one hand find your center point and clamp onto your table uh, like at your midway point so inhale the other arm goes up and over and lands either on the back of your chair or on the side of your chair I really should change these, this chair for this demonstration. Okay, and then on an inhale, really reach up and find some height. And then on exhale, twist from your torso to the back of the room or the side of the room. So every inhale, you want to lengthen your spine all the way through the crown of your head, your neck and the crown of your head. Exhale, twist a little bit deeper, even if it's like, a millimeter, inhale, height, exhale, twist. One more time, inhale, height, exhale, twist. And release. Okay, so the other side. So find your center point and clamp on. Inhale, the arm goes up and over. And I just find that such a lovely chest opener anyway. So grab whatever bit of the chair is comfy for you. Remember every inhale, I, I often just raise my eyebrows because it makes me feel I'm getting higher each time. And then exhale, twist from the torso. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhale up, exhale twist and release. All right, so now we're gonna put a bit of bottom and thigh uh, into it. So bring up, if it's comfortable for you, bring up your, your ankle onto your knee. I'm, I'm not very well matched today because I've, I was just trying on a new top and it's probably a bit mismatched with my leggings and my trainers. So anyway, um, excuse me for that. So come and sit with your ankle Jesus. onto your knee. I don't know whether you can hear that, but that's my husband shouting at the dogs. Um, ankle onto the knee. So sit up nice and straight and you'll probably feel a nice stretch down, down here, your glute and the side of your thigh. 
which can get very sort of like tight if we're sitting all day. So it's like a figure four. Okay, so sit up nice and straight. I mean, I like to sit like this during meetings and stuff anyway. It just feels good. All right, so take the opposite hand, cross your body and over that outside knee. Inhale, the top arm goes up and again to the side of the chair or wherever you can reach and exhale and then inhale reach up through the crown of your head and exhale twist and you can use that hand against the knee to help you twist a bit further so inhale up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist ah I don't want to stop. Here we go. Release. Come back to the other side. Other foot. So foot on knee. And really sit up straight. I think the kind of straighter you sit, the more kind of you, the more stretch you get. So here we go. So cross body, like a cross body bag. Okay, there we go. Inhale, the other arm goes up and over. Grab whichever bit of the chair you can. Inhale. Raise those eyebrows, reach to the crown of your head. Exhale, twist, inhale, up. Exhale, twist, inhale, up. Exhale, twist, one more. Inhale, up, exhale, twist, and release. And actually, while we're in this kind of figure of four position, the other one I love doing, and I know you like it too, is to either just put your hands in prayer position. We're going to do the leaning forward with a straight, straight back thing. In fact, let's just do this variation on this side, and then we'll do the hands behind our back for the other side. Okay, so sit up nice and straight. So you've got your, your foot on your knee. By the way, if this is really awkward for you, um, you can put it down for this one. You're just going to go forward like this. Okay, so do whatever you do, don't push into pain. There's a difference between stretching that feels good and stretching that feels like something's not right. So don't do the latter. Okay, so sitting up nice and straight. Exhale, fold forward and only go as far as you can with a nice straight back. I am feeling a deep stretch in my bottom. How about you? I wonder if you are. Now, Slowly, slowly, if your elbows do reach your knee or you can cheat like I am and, and go onto my tippy toes on my bottom foot to bring up that top, like my calf, I'm just going to lean my elbows on my knee and my foot. Straight back, stretching out that glute and hip and thigh muscle, but also just giving my back a nice stretch and just make sure that your neck is in line with your spine. So rather than jutting your chin up, you're probably gonna be looking down. Um, there we go, so inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. And release, come up gently. Give that leg a shake if you need to. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other side. So knee on, uh, ankle on the knee. And actually, why don't you try just bringing up that, that bottom foot onto your tiptoes or the ball of your foot to just to create a bit of height because just notice that actually if it's my, now my foot is flat, it's not so much of a stretch. And if I put it onto my, the ball of the foot, I do get a deeper stretch there. So if you would like to, Get your hands behind your back into that clasped hand position. How am I going to work it on this chair? It's like a moving, moving thing. Yeah, there we go. So ankle on knee. Chair, the, the, the hands are down by your bottom, to rolling open the, that chest and, um, yeah, opening up that chest. Okay, so now if you lean forward, it's pretty much impossible for you to uh, curl your back. So don't, just go as far as you can okay oh so this is again another really deep stretch in my glute and and that kind of thigh my hip area and oops 
my chin is going to be, I'm looking down at the floor so as not to strain my neck. Okay, inhale, exhale. With each inhale, just e find, find that length through your spine and then exhale, just sink into that stretch a little bit more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Ah, and slowly, slowly come up. Now that leg is 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 um, right for crossing. So cross that leg over. We'll do our third chair twist, and it's the fanciest of all. So prayer, hands up in prayer position at your heart center. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, find height, and then exhale, twist and hook that elbow over that top knee. And then you're going to, on each inhale, lengthen that spine, even though it's on a diagonal, including your neck, so your neck is in line with your spine. So don't jut your chin up. And then on your exhale, you're pushing that elbow against the knee, trying to get those thumbs into your sternum in between your boobs, using that elbow to help you twist deeper. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, and release. So if you want to make one movement, just do so. Okay, so coming to sit nice and tall on the other side. Inhale, find height. Exhale, twist and hook. And then see if you can straighten up, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, push that elbow against that knee to help you twist, to help get those thumbs closer to the sternum. Long spine and then elbow against the knee to help you twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and release. Okay, I'm just double check the time. Oh, we're a little bit over. Let's finish on um, uh, downward facing dog at the table. So if you want to stand up, and again with your little clamps, you are going to, well, stand, stand one legs distance away from the table, bend your knees, bend over from the hips and then clamp onto the table. But here is my big, big top tip. Um, to avoid any kind of like overextension in the elbows, you wanna press your elbows out as if we were gonna do press ups, which we're not, and then wrap them underneath and then pull back. So elbows out, wrap them underneath and then sink back. So holding on tightly to your table, and make sure your table's not gonna move. You are kind of stretching yourself out. You can go as much as you want to. So leaning back into your bottom to stretch out, and this should be good for shoulders as well. So it just stretches your upper torso, your arms, your shoulders, the whole shebang. And if you want to have some stretch in your hamstrings, then just bend the knees slightly and then tilt your bottom bones, your sitting bones up to the sky. And you should feel an increase in stretch down the back of your thighs. If you are comfortable to, just let your head and neck uh, fall between your arms. Only if it's comfortable for you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale. All right, now slowly from there, just release your hands from the table. I'm going to turn around slightly and just um, bend over. Now, if you need to bend your knees, just bend your knees as much as you need to. It doesn't really matter. You can have your whole torso lying on your thighs. Just let your head and everything go down. Relax the spine. Let it all hang down. If it's nice for you, then grab onto your opposite elbows and hang in ragdoll. So swaying from one side to the other. This is also just a lovely shoulder tension releases, releaser because it just stretches out your shoulders. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no to make sure you're not holding any tension in your neck. Release the hands and then slowly, slowly, slowly roll up. Noticing any tension left, hopefully there's not much in your spine. All the way up, all the way up. Whoops, you've got a headless person now. Okay, until you get all the way up, big exaggerated shoulder roll, hands to the front, shiny to the front. Remember, thumbs out, try just pulsing your thumbs back to see what a difference that makes to opening up that chest. So if you ever need an emergency chest opener, just do this, turn your thumbs out. All right, and then hands together. I will bid you a fond farewell. I hope you are unwound and ready for your first cocktail. We may not all be on the beach. We may be in cloudy, cloudiness where I am but I wish you well and um, have a lovely weekend and I will see you here next week all right namaste bye everybody <laughs> oh you love the eyebrows to lift up yeah it's like if you go like that you kind of feel that you're lifting up even more that's right all right everybody so have a lovely weekend and tell your friends to come along. And also if they can't quite make it at this time, it gets posted to YouTube, over in the boardroom YouTube as well. So there's lots and lots of past episodes to watch as well. So no excuse for ever having a sore neck or stiff shoulders. Life is better without stiff shoulders. All right, take care and lots of love and I will see you next week. <laughs>